Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be tackling two rooms, the laundry room and the kitchen. We're going to go through and give it a quick but a deep clean. We're also going to be organizing and taking a really fun break with Jameson. I hope this will give you guys some motivation to tackle something in your house. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So today we're going to start in the laundry room and I'm just going to work on getting everything out of here so we can go ahead and give it a good deep clean. out of here is overstocked from our pantry. We try to buy in bulk so we don't have to go shopping every week, but the pantry is so unorganized that we have to put it in totes and set it in here. the laundry room as quick as possible so it would have been a really long time since I had cleaned behind in between and underneath the washer and dryer and it really needed it it was so gross difficult with us all being stuck in the house together so we've had to get really creative. This is what Jameson chose to do with his time. So what do we have Jameson? An ice cream cup down to this. Ah! Oh this goes a long way. After dinner and our nightly walk, we decided to come home and put together the IKEA shelf that we got for the laundry room. I don't know what it is with IKEA furniture, it is so simple, but it takes so long to put together. And this was only held together by pegs and like two screws at each end.
Now that we have this moved in here, I'm really excited to start organizing. And of course, that means I also get to do one of my favorite things, shopping for new containers. Now it's time to move into the kitchen and see what we can get done. I like to start by clearing off all the counters. I try really hard to have everyone keep their stuff put away, but this is always our dumping ground. Now that the dishwasher is empty and all the dishes are put away, I'm going to start getting the counters cleared off. I'm going to get some things kind of put away in the pantry real quick, then I'm going to turn to the fridge, throw a few things away, and start restocking. working at shoving those last two root beers in there, I did not want to put the box away with only two left. I like keeping the bottom two shelves in the fridge door for the boys. They know what they're allowed to get out and how much they're allowed to have. And I also like keeping it stocked, that way nothing's warm. Even though they don't mind, I can't stand it. So this is definitely a project that needs to happen sooner rather than later. It's driving me insane, but I do not have everything I need to organize it right now. So I'm just gonna come in here and try to clean it up the best that I can and get the rest of the food put away. Now that the fridge is restocked and the stuff's put away in the pantry, I'm just gonna work on tearing down the boxes and taking the trash and recycling out. This is one of my favorite parts because I just feel so accomplished knowing that all these boxes are empty and they're getting out of my kitchen. So after I got the trashes out, I wanted to go ahead and just give everything a good wipe down. It had been quite a while since I had. And Justin has been taking his gum and spitting it out in the back recycling one that doesn't have a liner. So I actually had to sit there and scrape the gum off and it just wasn't fun. <laughs> So after taking care of the trashes, I took a break for the day, spent some time with the boys, run some errands, then we had dinner and went for our nightly walk. So once I got them all cleaned up and settled in bed, I got back to the kitchen and I decided to start at the table. After the table, I moved on to just quickly wipe down all the cabinets, focusing mostly on the lowers because those ones get the most use. Now I'm gonna get all the counters wiped down, even though I know the next morning I'm just gonna be back at it again.
The dishes always feel like the longest task in the kitchen. I wish I could wash them this fast. Mopping and vacuuming the floors is not my favorite task, it's so tedious, but it's the one that makes me feel the best because I know that they're clean and who doesn't love clean floors, but also that it means my job is almost done. I've tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous, no I've realized that I can't live without you. By the time I got done vacuuming and mopping, it was pretty late and everyone else was asleep. Once I finished, I just went ahead and showered and went to bed. The next morning, I came out and I did my pictures of the clean kitchen. So in the next clip, if you notice that the light is different, that's why. The only reason I keep sneaking out at night Keep wishing you would kiss me under city Next morning, I ran out to Target and got some baskets so we can start organizing. Okay, so this container for the paper towels is way too big, and I apologize, I have the washer going right now. Um, but this container is way too big for paper towels up here, so I'm going to have to use that elsewhere and find something else that will fit better up here. Or maybe just not have paper towels up here. Um, so I came down here and I got these containers. One I knew for this purpose, just things that I could quickly grab when we're trying to get out the door. That I always forget, wipes, some lock, I'm always running through the house back to my bathroom to try to get that. These are just extra, it probably won't stay here. I need to um, go back to Target, really think about what I want here versus what I want in the cabinets above the washer and dryer, and then try to find containers that will fit. The water I really don't like in here, especially this end one, it just does not fit. I would like to take them out of the containers, but Josh feels that it's better to leave them this way, so if we need to just take them and go somewhere, we can. And I have my laundry soap here. Another cleaner because it only fits down here, it won't fit in the upper spaces. So I'm not sure exactly. I'd like to get just one area that's all laundry stuff. This is some floor cleaner. I don't really use it a lot, so those might go. So I can use that for something else. I put some more off toilet paper here, tissue and hand soap, disinfecting supplies, um, Clorox wipes, Clorox bathroom cleaner, and uh, like Lysol spray, but generic, and then a toilet bowl cleaner over here. So I'm not really sure. This is very unfinished still, but hopefully I'll get this done soon because it's really driving me crazy. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!